Hey guys, welcome to today. Today is Thursday and I need your help. Joe's birthday is coming up so soon and we have no idea of what to buy her for a present. None, no idea at all. We suggested a ton of stuff and she said no to all of them. She's not a super picky kid and actually a lot of my boys are like that too. They just don't want stuff and she's not like me and not like Sophie for sure. But I still need to get her something for her birthday. I offered to take her and her friends to a hotel for the night. I thought that would be so fun for her. And she's like, eh, that's not me. So I need your help. If you are an equestrian girl out there and you have ideas of what you would like for your birthday, I would love to hear it. And so would Phineas, who meets me at the door every single day. Hi, Phineas. How are you? He's like, did you bring me treats? You want to believe it. I brought you so many treats. Yes, I did. You want it? Yeah. And the girls are coming. We have one girl laying an egg, and she is the gray cochin, and I think she lays the baby eggs. He's like, I don't really like that. How about carrots? You want a carrot? Oh, here comes my cochin girl. They're all coming. He has really helped them to come out of their shell. So Phineas is an Easter egger. You can tell by the puffy cheeks. And the girl in the back there, the white one, she is an Easter egger, which is so exciting. She gives me my blue eggs. And then this one here, I think is, I don't know what, but I really like her. And she gives me big, huge, amazing eggs. She gives me extra large, really big, light beige eggs and I love her and this girl over here gives me just regular sized eggs I came to get eggs and I came to drop off their daily treat but look at have you guys ever seen that girls ever come to the door before no you add a rooster and he gives them so much confidence that they just come right up to us also added our water the other day the one with the nipples i have the lid i have to put it on there i'm going to do that on the next time i switch it over and then also their feeder down there i was trying it out we were trying it out with the little lip to see if it works oh my gosh it keeps all their food dry it prevents spillage it they've been it has saved us so much feed wasted feed yeah hello he's like just bring the whole thing in for goodness sake get in there little boy I actually really like my rooster, our new rooster. There you go. That's your food. And she's in there laying her egg. Oh, you guys like stuff. What do you like? What are you eating? Hey, what are you eating? So don't forget, if you have any ideas of what to get Gabby for her birthday, please list them below because Sam and I are both struggling because we need to buy it and it needs time to get here if we have to order it. So, and her birthday is so soon. I've also been trying to figure out a way to plan the rest of our chicken coop because like I said, I wanna have um, some separate areas for different chickens. Probably keep this one for our little tiny silkies. Um, I wanna put a coop there with a run that way. And I wanna put a coop here with a run this way. So that we have like a big, huge L-shaped chicken area because we love chicken, Sophie and I. The kids are taking forever with school today. So it's just me, the horses, and the puppies. Well, hello. Hi, I got no treats. But Penny was clean this morning when she was let out. And then that happened. She rolled. She likes to rub her face in the mud. Tonight we'll take, probably in the morning, we'll take our blankets off because it's supposed to be warmer. But yeah, she's a dirty girl. You're dirty, but I love that you came to see me. I'm trying to prepare early for summer. In Canada, we don't get our fly season, like in, in this area anyway, like where we are. Our bad fly season doesn't start till the end of June and it doesn't really like get so bad until the middle of July. Then you're even near the end of July for our farm anyways. Come on. I noticed that for farms that are way more established and have more horses, it starts a little bit earlier, but we still, even there, it doesn't even start really until July. So I'm trying to get fly masks now and it's like same with blankets for us i can only find like black or gray 
nothing super fancy. I've seen like in the US, super fancy fly masks and I want that really badly. Remember, our summer season doesn't even, like our warm season, doesn't even start for another month yet till the end of May. So in terms of fly masks, I still have these tough one, tough one ones and they really hold up. I found that they've really held up. So there's an orange one in perfect condition. And then I have this Noble Outfitter one that is super heavy duty, which actually is in still in really good shape and I actually really like it. So I actually have that one that I can still use. And then I also have this other one, but it's ripped. This blue one and it doesn't have a, a mask on it, like a face on it. And I have this other black one that's the same as that orange one there that actually all look in really good condition. This one has a tiny rip on the side. Well, a big rip, but I could sew that. So I probably have three okay fly masks for this season for our geldings. And then I have this Kensington one that I actually really like too because it's heavy, heavy duty quality. And I could probably use that for Penny. And then I have the Mare's fly mask someplace. I don't even know where I put those. But I know Willow's and Gracie's are still in really good condition. So technically I probably only need, I don't even know what I need you guys. I don't even know what I need. Like, what the heck do I need? But I do want to get some flashy fly masks for this year. Ones that the boys won't destroy and they won't bother them because they are in an established barn. So they definitely have more flies than we do. I keep hearing this awful sound, like this God awful sound and it sounds like somebody's being murdered and then I'm like, what the heck is happening? It's the rooster. <laughs> I'm so not used to having a rooster. So every time I hear him, I'm like, what the heck is that sound? All right, we got Chino here. He's having a rest day today. But we brought him up here. Make sure he's nice and warm and clean and fresh. Because we put it, or their blankets on the other day. It's supposed to rain. Go down to almost freezing tonight. And then rain. So. Don't kiss him. He will bite your face off. Yeah, don't kiss him. He is not a, yeah, he is not a kissing horse. All right. Goodbye, Chino Bambino. Gabby got this Shapely's Easy Out No Rinse Shampoo for Easter, but every time I go to the bottle, more is leaked out of it, so clearly it has a hole. So that's annoying. Ugh. But luckily for me, I had another empty bottle here. Dun -dun -dun -dun. So we're gonna try and figure out how to work this stuff and uh, see how good it works. So it's dry shampoo. Wait, dry shampoo? No, it's not dry shampoo. Well, you're dirty. Look at his feet. Yeah, you're gonna need help. Yeah. Look at his belly. Oh, wow. All right, but look at this guy. Only a little dirty. <laughs> Only a little dirty. His body's pretty clean though. So apparently you have to brush up all the excess dirt first. So it's no rinse, it's not dry shampoo. I don't know why I was thinking that, it's no rinse. So Gabby, that's the no rinse stuff. I had to put it in a new bottle. It is sticky. Hello, handsome boy. Yeah, that is always the thing that happens. When you brush your horse and you're smaller than them, dirt is always going in your eyes. All right. Call me when you're about to do him so that I can see it and video it, okay? Are you gonna do your, my horse right? uh, Yeah, I'm gonna help you with your horse because that's the thing. People think that they're not cleaned because they're dirty even though we brush them and people don't realize oh, do in way. Canada it's still too cold for showers. Look at your dirty nose. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, give me treats then. So find any place that's dirty. Yeah, try a spot like that. So there's the spot. Okay, now you're supposed to get a cloth. Rub it. We don't have a cloth? and then you brush it out. Does he have any really bad spots? Oh, we even have a cloth, we're so good. Oh, I got some of it out. Yeah. You find any bad spots? There's a big bad spot on the road. Yeah, look at right here, all that. All right, so. It's wet now, but it came out. All right, try that spot on his belly. Can't tell what's dirt and what's his dapples. Okay, that's the spot. Luckily, we had a nice blanket on him. 
little. Might have been too little. <gasps> I like it. Oh, that was too little. Oh. But I can see where, where it was. Wow, Gray Finn. Finn, you're about to be a clean boy. Yeah. All right, well that works, that, that stuff works so good. Do you think most of his neck is dirt? Most of it. Like, I know, those spots. <gasps> Do you see it? Wow. It is fancy. Sophie's like, let Only me see. Only one spot where it actually sits. Yeah, yeah. I can see it though, I can see a huge change. Yeah. All right, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I did it. I cleaned him all and he's still a mess. But he's a lot better. Like, Ollie got a lot of stuff off of him. I had to use this thing to get the mud off. I can't wait till mud season ends and it all dries up. That's it, all on the ground. That's a Denver down there. Remember this horse? I just love her. I just love her. She's so elegant and such a girl. Ew, and I just stepped in her poo and that was disgusting. Yuck, she, she lured me into that. So I'm just sitting here alone with all the horses. I don't know where the kids are. Gabby and, and Kate went that way. Sylvia and Julia went that way. Sam's in the car. Brandon's teaching a lesson. Everybody's just like, we're getting back together again after a week apart. Like, the kids just love to be here and be with their friends. And it makes them slow. I helped Sophie but left the muddy feet for her. She's not impressed. Okay. I love the saddle pad you chose. That's not ours, right? It's not ours. <laughs> no, I love it though. That's so cool. It will look good on him. I just saw it. You like it? That color? I said Brandon's never that looked good on Storm. What? Like you look weird on Storm. Oh, I think bright colors look good on Bays. Like it looks good on him, but Storm's like a black one and it's like a yellowish mean. Yeah, that's true. Good you point. Good point. All right, Sophie's waiting for her saddle because the saddle she uses is in lessons right now. So Gabby tells me to hold, hold Finn and he starts dragging me into there. Gabby said it's because she always goes in there so he knows where he wants to go. Like, they literally stand there and stare. Well, he used to freak out when I left him too. Uh-oh, stand still. He's like, let me explore this whole place. I've never been over here. So Brandon gave us a choice to go outside or stay in, and it's so muddy outside. Yeah, no, because I'm going to have to walk all the way over and we're not going to get down there all the And Gabby voted to, whoa, Gabby voted to stay in and everybody else voted to go outside to ride. So we're having fun. So we're having fun. Don't you know that you're beautiful?